But, you know, many uh, uh, EU uh, members have already participated in different ways in the uh, training activities of NATO allies. So this is something we, we work together, we do it together in different formats, but uh, fundamentally we speak about the same nations providing training to Ukrainian forces. Uh, NATO allies have provided training to uh, Ukrainian forces since 2014, uh, in particular uh, the United States, the United Kingdom and Canada. Uh, have uh, conducted significant training in Ukraine uh, since the legal uh, annexation of uh, Crimea, but also some uh, EU uh, NATO members have been part of these uh, efforts. And then, for instance, in, uh, in the United Kingdom, where they have already trained uh, close to 10,000 troops ju just this year, um, uh, uh, we have Denmark, we have uh, uh, Sweden, we have uh, uh, the Netherlands, we have several other uh, and uh, uh, EU members that are also uh, uh, NATO allies uh, participating in those uh, training activities, uh, together with other partners of uh, NATO like New Zealand and Australia. So uh, countries uh, may be different uh, part of the members of different uh, organizations, but the good thing is that they work together in different formats uh, to provide uh, more training for Ukraine. So therefore, I welcome the EU efforts. It will complement the, the efforts by uh, NATO allies that has taken place over several years. Of course, also NATO allies stepped up after the invasion. Um, uh, but tens of thousands of Ukrainian troops have been already trained uh, uh, by NATO allies, uh, and, uh, and this has helped the Ukrainians to, uh, to stand up against the Russian uh, invasion.